Hello and welcome to Microsoft Power BI do it yourself tutorials. In this video I'm going to talk about the import mode versus direct query mode. Now we know that for import mode there is a limitation on the size of the data in the PBIX file. Assuming that the size of the data is in terabytes or hundreds of gigabytes then to overcome the limitations on the amount of data you can import in the PBIX file, there is an option to overcome the limitation by using the direct mode. Direct mode is also known as the live mode. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to talk to you about how to do this direct, code, direct mode and the import mode. And then I'm going to talk about the limitations of the direct mode also. Now. So create a new PBIX file and click on get data, select any database connection, doesn't matter. I'm just using SQL Server. I'm not going to connect it, but I'm just going to show you how to do it. So go in here, get data, SQL Server. And then you can obviously do the connection, but then there are two things, right? You have import and direct query. The import means that the data from the database would be extracted and saved it in the Power BI X, PBIX file. While the direct query is a live connection, that means, let me show you a quick diagram here. So in this diagram, you can see that for a direct query, what we'll do is the data set will not have any data, but just the metadata, the data model. And then every single time you do anything on the visualization on the Power BI cloud service, it is have a it's going to have a direct live connection to the database here using the gateway. So for that, the gateway needs to be up all the time, and then it depends on the network bandwidth of the on-prem data services. Now you can also have a direct query connecting to Azure. Let's assume that this is Azure cloud, and you have the data lying here. You can you can easily connect it again. It all depends upon the infrastructure on how you are implementing Power BI. Now, if you have questions on architecture or how do you how do you implement, or if you have any suggestions or if you want to consult anything on Power BI Azure, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to at least answer. So, uh, import and direct query. So import is again fetching the data already prefetch and push it in PBIX file and when you publish you can refresh that data set, refresh that import. The direct query means no data at all being pushed onto the PBIX, all the metadata is pushed and for every single report generation or any interaction with the report, the query goes back to the database, maybe on-prem, maybe on the cloud. If it is on-prem, it's going to use the gateway. And if it's on the cloud, obviously, there is no gateway. That's a direct connection. Now, once you have that, uh, direct query is also known as the, the live mode. But there are a lot of limitations on the direct query mode. Uh, as I mentioned, it is also known as live connection. Let's see those limitations. So pros is you have unlimited data available uh, you know, you don't have to worry about the limitations of the import mode, but there are a lot of cons as well. Uh, you would see apparent slowness in the query response mode. The gateway needs to be constantly up and running. Uh, there is no DAX support. Obviously, you cannot write any DAX function, and that's a big deal breaker for a live data connection. You have no data model formatting. You can do nothing on the data tab. Uh, you cannot have multiple data sources on the live and finally no QA support. You do not have the QA support. Now let's explore some hands-on session. Uh, try connecting to any database, a SQL Server, Oracle, or a DB2, doesn't matter. Configure your gateway as shown in the previous video and then try both import modes and direct query options. And I'm pretty sure that you would find a lot of uh, limitations on direct query. So what is the solution which you cover both the worlds? So this is what I suggest. You would have a summarized data set 
at a very aggregated level and then use the import mode for all the visuals and everything else. And if you want to sh just show the raw data, then you go for direct query mode. But then again, summarization is the key in terms of huge data volumes. And again, a lot of credit goes to, should go to uh, the, the database guys who are gonna design those data models which can work quickly and at a very, very faster rate using direct query mode. So direct query mode is used when you have tons and tons and tons of data and there is no big summarization possible, but again, you will hit a lot of roadblocks. Uh, having said that, try it out. Uh, thank you for watching.